Sandra Good is a follower of Charles Manson. She lived with Lynette Frome until Miss Frome was arrested last Friday on a charge of attempting to murder President Ford. Sandra Good was questioned by police and then released. We have her on the line now from her home in Sacramento. Miss Good, have you had any contact with Lynette Frome since her arrest? No. Have you been able to see her? No. Have you been able to communicate with her? No. Can you tell us the condition you, you last saw her in? When did you see her last? Uh, we have been looking at the state of this country and of the world, and it's a mess. It's a big mess, and it needs cleaning up. If people are going to survive, change is necessary. Uh, there are many, many people, thousands of people, children included, who are tired of the destruction of the environment, the wildlife, the rivers, the oceans. Miss Good. The cutting down of trees and... Um, Could we talk about that in a minute? Yeah. Could you tell us more about Lynette from... answering your question. I asked you, when was the last time you saw her? start this all over again. Sure. Okay. Listen, the uni questions really don't, I don't understand what you're getting at. Um, this is a reflection. Rather than looking at the little picky uni details of what time she got up or her particular state of mind, it's irrelevant. Um, there are a lot of roots to problems that people have, a, peop a world people, a nation people. Um, there are certain acts that reflect problems. What, what do you think about what happened in Sacramento last Friday? That also is a rather ignorant question. I, oh well, <clears throat> what do I think about it? I think it's time that the country start taking a look at itself, taking a look at its problems and not hold possible positive solutions to the problems down. They must admit that they don't know. All right, Miss Good. If you, if you wouldn't mind, let's hear a little bit more, please, about when you last saw Lynette from and what kind of shape she was in. That question shows your ignorance, and I won't answer it. All right, how about this, then? Can you tell us anything about Harold Borrow, the man who's in the news today as, as having given that gun to Lynette? No, that question also shows your ignorance of the greater problems that are going to jump down your throat if you don't take a look at them. Oh, Harold Borrow? I'm saying that the people um, better start taking a look at the problems, not the picky uni um, incidents. I'm saying look at the roots of these problems. Many people in um, all over the world are due to be assassinated. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of many, many assassinations that are about to take place. Good. How come you're talking about trees that, that you care about and yet you don't mind killing men? Um, men that kill life, that kill harp seals, that kill trees, that poison oceans and rivers and air, are killing all of us because we need these things to live. Do you think that what Lynette Fromm did is going to somehow dramatize your case? Woman, I mean, do you think it was worthwhile? Start your world, woman. Start looking at the world you're leaving for your kids and quit putting um, sensational news stories and what you look like and your social position over life. Miss, do you think anybody yes, would be... Woman, pardon? Don't probe me like that. You listen to what I'm saying and you, you tone your um, manner of questioning down or I'll hang Do you understand me? Well, I'm, I'm prepared for your hanging up. You know, that's one of the risks. You no, know, you're prepared for what you want to hear. You're not going to get what you want to hear. Did Lynette from do this? Listen, put me on to somebody else. I don't like you. Why not? trouble. Um, you're probing me with what's in your mind, and I'm going to tell you things as I see them, not as you wish me to tell you. Not, not as a... Um, I don't tell us about Charles Manson, then. Let's start this all over again. Okay. Tell us about Charles Manson. You, um, you go to him yourself. Well, apparently he hasn't, he's not able to have visitors, is that right? He can't have visitors, no. You, you have been quoted as saying that his job is to straighten out the world? His job, it's your job, woman. It's your job. He's been left out of this world's madness. Um, you better pray he'll help you fix yourselves up. 
You better pray. I don't think he wants to. It's your job, woman, to start making gardens rather than pushing your husbands to destroy things. I'm talking to the executives, the killers of um, wildlife and of the earth. You stop. There's a wave of assassins called the International People's Court of Retribution, and they're watching you. Ms. Good, was the attack on President Ford justified then? Yes. Any attack on a lie is justified. Any attack on anyone who puts money and lies over people's lives is justified. Are you disappointed that President Ford wasn't killed? No. Not disappointed. There'll be many, many, many killings. Many killings. But he wasn't killed, was he? Was it not intention maybe to kill him? You ask Lynn. I cannot speak for another person. I'm asking you as an event what you think of it. Whether it was designed, if maybe she didn't put that gun in the chamber because she wanted to stage some guerrilla theater, or did she want to kill him? You don't understand anything because you're not willing to understand you be willing to open your minds and look at the roots of problems. Look at the problems that are besetting your world, your country. Miss Good, you do to let's, talk about, let's talk about killing for a minute. Okay? Die? What about you Listen, say... Woman, put me on to somebody else. I can't talk to you. Why? You're a very, very bad reporter. You're very bad. Put me on to somebody else. You are one of the worst. Really? Really are. You're very um, rude. You're very uh, imperceptive. You're very ignorant. Um, your technique is just crude. You you don't have any finesse. Now put me on to somebody else. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me ask you one more. Thing. No, put me on to somebody else. There's You're inadequate as a reporter. I'm it, Miss Good. I'm it. I'm afraid. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a man. Are you a man? You are a woman. Well, then why did you ask? Because you uh, reflect a woman's fear. I see. And you? Your unwillingness to look at problems. And you, what do you reflect? I reflect a lot of children. How old are you? I reflect a lot of people with concern. With concern for the earth and the children. Miss Good, children grow up to be men and women. Uh, in your sense, in the robot computerized um, slave for the dollar sense, um, go to school and spend your life in a book sense or living life sense. What are you talking about? You, you, you talk, you say, on behalf of children, and yet you talk on behalf of killing men. I'm talking about people will be killed. People. How about you, Miss Good? Let me finish my question. Don't interrupt me again. When I talk about killing, I'm saying there will be a wave of assassins killing those who are killing the environment, the wildlife, the trees, um, selling Miss Good? products to the children and the people. Miss Good? For them. Don't interrupt me. Miss Good? Hmm. Sandra Good. Uh, Miss Good is a friend of Lynette Frome, the would-be assassin of President Ford.